Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is November 10th. See, this is a Sunday, isn't it? Of 2019. Uh, tomorrow here in the United States will be uh, Veterans Day. Um, I believe yesterday was Remembrance Day in the UK. Uh, or maybe it's just been England. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But uh, Veterans Day. Uh, I went to a Catholic military high school in Kansas City, Missouri, De La Salle Military Academy, from 1955 to 1959, and we were. We marched in every the four that I was there. They we marched in downtown Kansas City, Missouri, in the Veterans Day parade. It was kind of <clears throat> neat because we were <clears throat> like the other high schools uh, in Kansas City that had, you know, a junior ROTC program. Ours was a 55C program that was kind of like a junior ROTC on steroids. We were in uniform all the time uh, we had military every day we on friday half of the day was we were in dress <clears throat> we were in dress uniform on fridays and then half of the day was uh, you know full dress parade and everything outside uh but when we um <clears throat> marched in the uh, veterans day parade uh well, three years, we marched from the high school, which was close to downtown, but still, you know, it was all the other ROTCs, uh, you know, school buses took them. Our, our school, we were a Catholic school. We didn't have any school buses. Uh, so we marched from the school, you know, the entire 500 student body with a band, color guard, uh, everything, you know, we marched from the school downtown to the parade site. Then we marched in the, you know, marched in the parade. And then we marched back to the, uh, back to the school. So that was pretty neat. But I've told this story before, maybe a couple times. But one year, and I'm not sure if it was the colonel, the army colonel who was, they had an army colonel and a, uh, sergeant army sergeant who were in charge of our ROTC program of course you know the Christian brothers ran the school I'm not sure whose idea it was but also each one of us by the way uh, you know was issued an M1 rifle without a firing pin of course of course they were kept you know it was kept you know in racks in the school but uh, the one year uh, somebody, I'm not sure if it was a Christian brother or Colonel Per Ramey, I think was, uh, I think we had two when I was there, uh, colonels who I think were, they were retired, but then this was, uh, I don't know, they were, you know, exactly how they were, they were paid, I think, partially by the military and, and I'm not sure if this was reserve active duty or what it was, but anyway, uh, so I'm not sure, I can't remember the other both of them, though, were, had been in the, uh, both of the colonels, they were in charge at different times. They had both been in uh, the Philippines and captured, and then both had been in the uh, Bataan Death March. Um, anyway, somebody decided that, uh, well, instead of having the march down to the Veterans Day Parade, or, you know, We'll just have the kids get there. Their parents can either take them or they can get there. How I don't think most of us got there by, uh, you know, public bus. I took the Vine Street bus. If you've ever heard the song, but uh, everything's up to date in Kansas City. You're going to get me a bottle of wine at 17th and Vine or something. Because <laughs> that, that Vine Street was a 
right over a short distance from. And so I, I rode the Vine Street public bus, you know, to school and home. My parents never, you know, never took me. Um, but anyway, somebody decided it'd be a great idea to have 500 of us uh, take our M1s home and then, uh, you know, take the bus. So as I was leaving school with my M1 and to catch the Vine Street bus to go home, the other, you know, like 10 or 15 were piling on to a different city bus and they were pointing the guns out the window or whatever and I thought, this is not good. And man, when we came back to school after... <coughs> After the Veterans Day parade, the Christian brothers were not happy. <clears throat> you can just imagine. I mean, this is, of course, before 9-11 and before, you know, a lot. This is in the 1955 to 1959. But still, high school kids on the, you know, on the bus, who knows what it was going on in the bus, you know. Pointing it out the window. Oh, what a disaster that must have been. Anyway, tomorrow will be Veterans Day here in the United States. Um, this is going to be about... I have owned uh, three Chrome devices. One Chrome... Uh, book, which I, that's what I took to, uh, I took to Washington, D.C. when I went for two weeks there to uh, stay with my daughter and her husband, and they showed me around, you can, there's, I've got the videos, actually I think my daughter made all the videos, but there's a playlist with them. So I've owned three Chrome devices. <clears throat> now the the Chromebook uh, was you know foldable. One side was you know like a tablet, excuse me, and then the other you know then it was like a laptop you know trackpad. I really did not. I don't like uh, laptops. I've owned several laptops. I even owned. Uh, Radio Shack Model 100 <laughs> back in, what, uh, 70s or whatever. And a uh, C64. It was an SX64. It was a portable, but the screen in color was only about this size. Then I had, I guess, good eyesight. Well, I still wore glasses, but I mean, I couldn't. I couldn't even, uh, so, but I, I just don't like laptops. I, um, probably one of these days I'm going to have to get one so I can lay in bed or whatever, or lay in the hospital bed or the hospice center bed or, so I'll probably have, I think what I'd like to have now would be some, t an iPad, um, but and I never I never had an Apple product other than the uh, what was the first thing they had that you put music on and I didn't purchase it I was working at CompUSA in Miami when they came out with them and our store there was number one or number two in sales and so every employee there got a free i what was it called oh I forget anyway. So I've never owned an Apple product, but I think I would, if I'm going to go with a laptop again, I think I'd like to have an iPad. I could go with the $400 one and I think be happy. But anyway, I got rid of my Chrome book. I gave it to, I think my son in Florida, I believe. Can't remember. Uh... I've owned two 
uh, Chromebooks. This one here is in Chromebox. And this is the Asus that I purchased in uh, March of 2017. And let me see if I can see what you're seeing by pulling this up. Okay. Well, you know, I, okay, yeah. I don't really need to show it to you like this because I can just go. And so this one, I have a, like I said, I got rid of my Chrome. Let's see. Nope, not yet. Nope. Yeah, so this... Uh, I uh, purchased and I used it very little but it's really the Chromebox and Chromebooks the Chromebox uh, really uh, okay I think I can pull this down here they're really neat I mean they're simple they're basic now I took this one and it was very easy to open it up and I upgraded it to eight gigabytes of memory my PC by the way Windows PC has 16 gigabytes of memory but I mean I, th I think Chrome has a lot of enthusiasts and I think there's a lot of detractors people who you know who don't you know don't like it but I think it's great because you just log in it when you when you turn it on it's on and uh, uh, it, you know, you log in with a Google account, and all your stuff is there. If you have a problem, you can just wipe everything out. You know, on the I never had to do that, but you could just wipe everything out, log in again. I mean, you don't you just go hit a you know thing, power wash or whatever. And then you log in with your Google account. All your stuff comes back. All your Google photos. All your, and you can have other things, of course. But now you can't really one run any Windows, you know, stuff on it. Uh, well, I'm going to get to that. Uh, so this is the one now, which I didn't really. I almost never. I didn't. Uh, you know, I didn't really uh, use this very much. I just played with it a little bit. Uh, and really, I, occasionally every year or two, I would hook it up for a day or a few hours and mess with it again. It was always remarkable how, you know, all your um, Chrome, you know, you use a Chrome browser. Everything is there. All your, you know, I mean, it's just, just remarkable. What I didn't know till uh, oh, a few weeks ago, a friend of mine, Dick in Kansas City, uh, he's been following my uh, bulletin board system and everything since maybe not 1982, but all, you know, 83, 84. I'm not sure when he started, but and. Uh, he also had a uh, Chrome box, and he said, oh, it's not updating. It won't update anymore. i got to notice that they only support each of their devices for like five years. And uh, so I checked and hooked mine up the other day, and this old one here, of course, and got the message also that, you know, that it, uh, no new updates will be made you know, made to it. Um, but like when I hooked it up the other day, it worked, you know, it worked fine for what it was doing. But a while back, like last year or whatever, I think, maybe a little before that, uh, you know, Chrome announced that um, the, they were going to with the new devices, not old ones, they weren't, you know, figured into it, but all new devices <clears throat> from Chrome 
would be able to access Android apps. And so they started doing that with new ones. Now that didn't, so mine was, uh, you know, was an old one, so it wasn't one of those. And then uh, I'm a while back, they announced that uh, Linux would be, you'd be able to use Linux on your, uh, in a container or whatever. And of course, when they announced both of these, you know, new things, they said, now, okay, you know, this is, you know, in development, it's working, but, you know, it's we're, it's not totally ready, so you bet you can use it. Now, the Android apps, they've come a long, come a long way with it. And, uh, well, I guess I should get to this new one. So, and, well, let me show you, by the way, before. Now, here is the, uh, on this old one, and that's the Asus. You know, you have... You know, the power in on the back here. I'm just going to show you the back. And you have the uh, network cable. You have two 3.0 USB. You have an HDMI. And you have a display port. And then you have, you know, where your microphone, you know, goes in. Or your speaker, you know. Um, well, I guess let me show you the front. And this is what's on the front. Right here is the uh, power, you know, power button. So, I purchased, let's go to that. So, so this was only, uh, I purchased this on November 7th. You know, I don't think I, well, maybe you want to see it in, you know, I don't think I really need to. Well, let's go. Well, they don't show you a good one, do the. Uh... So here's a new one. So on the front you have the headphone jack, on and off switch here, a SD. I rem oh, I forgot I left that in there, didn't I? Micro SD in there, and then there's two. Uh, USB ports, but on the uh, on the back you have uh, a Type C up here. Little thing there that is a no underneath that is the uh, type. That's the uh, okay. Oh, terrible to get old. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, this is on the front of the head. So up here at the top is the uh, power. And uh, underneath that is the uh, Type-C USB. And then there is an HDMI port, and then there are three USB ports, and then the network thing. So, so there is no display port, and it's just an HDM uh, port for this. But, and I probably already had more than one here. But I just didn't want to have to hunt for it when I got it. So for ten dollars, oh crap! I gotta have to bend over now to pick that stuff up. So what I got was, let's see here. Nope. 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 A USB-C to a display port. So this Type C goes into the uh, Chrome box, and that little tiny, and then that goes over to my monitor into the uh, display port. And so anyway, I purchased it. I hooked it up. Bang! Everything is just 
and I installed a few uh, Linux programs, uh, GIMP for graphics. And I've just I played around with it for a day, and then I had to go back to my uh, Windows 10 because that's where I have all my programs for making YouTube videos and all that type of stuff. So also the uh, well, I think I can show you because it's the uh, go to speed here. Okay, speed test. Usually when I type, just start, uh, you know. Okay, going to expand this out a little bit so you can see. Oh, I got to log in again. Oh, I know, that's because I... I'm now using Chrome. Let me, if I can remember, I will, uh, I've been using the, uh, with my Windows 10, computer with 16 gigabytes of of memory this is a 4k monitor I don't have it in 4k mode but um, in 4k mode with Windows 10 hooked up and when I go to uh, YouTube and try to watch one of those 4k videos that they make that are so you know, the graphics are so good. It buffers just about, you know, shows 15, 30 seconds of it buffer, you know, the buffering, buffering, or whatever. Uh, now, I hooked up this, uh, so let's look at the, okay. Close this, and it's going to show. Results. Okay, here you get some results. So, anyway, the, uh, oh, I, of course, I hooked this up to, you know, I didn't try Wi-Fi, uh, which works. I mean, I, I, uh, I just plugged my network cable in. And, uh, But, so I went to, with this, with this, I went to, um, let me pull this back up so I can, I may hook up my other monitor just so I don't, so I can see, so I don't have to, let's see, here we go. I um, hooked this up. And I believe with my old one, yeah, with this old one, when I hooked it up the other day, I believe when I went to YouTube to try 4K, it was, I had the monitor set 4K, it was 4K in 30 frames a second. I went with this, the new one, hooked it up using the C port to... Uh, display port on my monitor and I did not have any buffering I did occasionally I could tell uh, every 30 seconds or whatever maybe I lost a frame or something but um, I uh, I was getting 60 frames a second you know in 4k watching 4K videos on YouTube, and so very happy with this. I just uh, at this kind of money, you know. Like so, now I have two of these. I probably won't use this very much, but if one of us around here lose, if our computer crashes or whatever, bang, I can just hook that, you know 
hook this up for them and they'll be at least you know of course they can't play my my grown son won't be able to play some of the uh you know games that he windows games and that kind of stuff and my ex-wife if i I, because i hooked her up in the past with the chromebook uh in the past she didn't like it and i can understand a little bit because of the keys on the on that but then when i hooked her up to the chrome box she uh didn't the old chrome box she didn't like it because she couldn't she doesn't play windows games but she uh download some simple games it it was just and she's not willing to go into a learning curve which you don't really have a learning curve with this thing but so i'm not but anyway i've got these available but i'm very happy with this of course now i'm thinking uh i could have spent that added a little bit of money and got a uh, ipad but anyway i have this um the other thing, if, if you happen to be watching the other day, you will have seen me upload, well, that was with this, uh, two or three short live streaming videos. And I thought I was having problems. Well, I was for the first, well, I think it was it, no, uh, I think I tried it with this old one first before I got the new one. And my uh, microphone wasn't even showing up. And I finally figured out what that, it, it didn't like the USB microphone. So I uh, got this other microphone that uses 3.5 jack and plugged it into the thing and disconnected the uh, one I'm using now and used that headset and that did work and then when uh, i got this new one the uh uh this microphone i I got this headset to work and the other to work of course i didn't use them both at the same time and uh everything was uh, everything was fine with it uh, what's kind of aggravating, uh, let's see, let me go to this one here, here's the one I got, uh, so there's no, uh, no reviews yet for it, I went down here and, uh, Somebody asked a question, are dual monitors able to set up on this one? And a person says, I don't think there is a way to set up two monitors. There's only a single HDMI output for connecting a monitor. So, uh, I tried to leave a, uh, a comment saying, yes, you can use, you know, hook up two monitors. You just use your HDMI for one monitor, and then you use your Type-C for you know the other monitor and then of course (laughs) because they uh, took away my ability to review things on Amazon because they thought that I was uh, unfairly uh, giving good reviews to people because they were sending me items discounted or for free and uh so they took down all of my videos, and I'm not able to write a review on anything. But not only that, I can't even answer a question here or whatever. There's something else I can't, I can't do. Uh, so I mean, it's it's Amazon's loss, and. Uh, So, um, 262 and free shipping. Got it like the next day or whatever. Uh, this one is a little more difficult. I haven't opened it up yet, but I saw a YouTuber who did. This one, the new one, is a little more difficult to put extra memory into it. 
but it's not, uh, you know, this other one was super simple. You know, pop the feet off, pop the top off, drop them in. Here, it's a little bit more difficult. You have to take the feet off and pop the top off, and then there's a little piece of metal you have to slide in, and you have to do a little, you know, something. It's not, but it's, the other one was super simple. Probably at some point, <clears throat> I will upgrade this to 8 gigabytes, but right now it's uh, perfectly okay. So I think I have a feeling that I missed something that I wanted to tell you. So uh, I, uh, oh, I know what it is. Uh, I want to thank you. A few of you have been using my link to purchase things when you go to, you know, Amazon to purchase something. Uh, and my link, you know, it's underneath my, down in the comment section. But also what I wanted to mention again to you is that what you can just do is type in Jim Howard dot M-E. That takes you right there. <clears throat> now you don't have to go down here and look at any of these lists that I have made. Uh, or click on them. You can just go purchase what you, you know, look and find what you want to buy. And then if you uh, purchase something, I will get a commission. Doesn't cost you anything. Um, and wanted to show you here payment history. So that at the end of this month, I will be getting $26.49 from Amazon in commissions. And that is more than I make. I have almost uh, 3,000 subscribers and I have over 1,000 videos on YouTube and, and $26.49 a month is more than I make from YouTube. Um, so if you could, uh, if you're not doing it, please try to uh, make your purchases through Amazon using, you know, jimhoward.me or my other link that is. And when I get a chance, I'm going to do, you know, CR code and put it at the end of my videos and do things like that. Or maybe, maybe not have advertising on uh, YouTube and just have a thing pop up in the middle of the video from me for 15 seconds or 30 seconds saying, hey, please use my. Uh, you can see here, by the way, if you're interested, you can pause it. You can see the, uh, the red amount is where they have, you know, paid me, how much they have paid me. And you can see that, you know, most of the month, you have to get $10 commission in a, uh, a month in order to, uh, to get paid. This is from, you know, and so I've been with Amazon since, uh, for, for this, since February of 2009. And, uh. Anyway, if you could keep on, those of you who are using my uh, Amazon link, please keep doing it. And those that, uh, of you that are not, please uh, please try to uh, to do that. I, I think I would just rather get uh, money every month from Amazon than I would uh, having to wait three or four months in order to get, because uh, YouTube, you have to have $100. Yeah, with YouTube, you have to have $100 before they send it to you. So every three or four months, I will get a check for about $100. 
and uh, from YouTube. So I think this cable worked out really well as type USB Type-C display. I can't remember now exactly. I should have when I'm. I should write this stuff down a little on a notepad. If I'm going to come, I can't remember if I. I think I just went when I got this new one. I just went directly to this cable, and like I said, with 4K, with 4K set up on my monitor, I was getting. 4K video on YouTube at 60 frames a second. Although I think I may have been losing a little frame here or there occasionally. But with my Windows computer and with my old uh, uh, Chromebox, if I try to watch a 4K video on YouTube, it's just totally not able to, you know, every... 15 seconds or whatever the thing spinning thing comes up and it has to wait and then maybe it's 30 seconds I don't think so it's uh, but this this works um, okay I'm checking to see if if everything was covered the only other thing because some of you ask and some of you are followers and uh, whatever for the last week I'm not sure exactly when it started uh, I've been having some right flank pain I mean really bad pain and I'm not you know when the doctors or the emergency room or when they ask you know on a scale of 1 to 10 where's your pain I'm not somebody who gives a high number except if they would ask me when they put a catheter in me uh, twice when I was in there for six days and then when they did a test in Florida if they were to ask you know how was the pain on that it would have been a 10 uh, but on the other stuff four five you know when I was having chest pain four five or whatever this flank pain that I have been having which is Last day or two, it has slacked off where I can kind of forget about it. it. It'd be up there six or seven. And if I had to bend over or do anything, even just bending over or whatever, the pain would go up to like a, an eight, maybe a nine because I'd be cussing, you know. But for the last, starting I think yesterday, so the pain is, I can still feel when I was in the hospital for the six days because of the leg infection or whatever and then they when I got in there then they saw that my urine output from my bladder was not good and they were freaking out on that and then when the lab numbers came back and the kidney numbers were high way out of range then they were freaking out on that uh, so my lab numbers on the uh, kidney thing has come way down but still ab above the normal range not in the normal range and I scheduled an appointment with my doctor I, I saw my doctor a few months ago and and I scheduled in an appointment you know for December and I was thinking of course the other day I might have to you know but um, the doctor was hoping then with the new kidney you know, with the lab work and then looking at the kidney information, hoping that it would be in normal range. Now I kind of wonder if it's good. I don't think I mentioned this to you before. When I was in the hospital for six days and, you know, the doctors and nurses and everything came in and they were concerned with the leg infection or whatever. But they were also concerned with the bladder and uh, with the kidney. Then we could, when the kidney showed up or whatever. Uh, Hillary, my uh, daughter, uh, you know, came to the hospital and brought my, uh, can't remember now if my son came or if my, I think my grand, yeah, I think my grandson came, which was unusual because uh, all he's interested in is 
work and playing video games. And number one is playing video games. So I was surprised that he came. But anyway, when uh, I told Hillary or whatever about, you know, the kidney concerns and they were going to refer me to a kidney doctor and do all this kind of stuff, uh, she came, you know, back here to report to my ex-wife and my son, grown son and everything. And uh, Hillary was crying, saying that she would give me a, give me a, give me a kidney for a kidney transplant or whatever. But anyway, uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen with this. I'm hoping it's going to, you know, uh, I mean, I'm not going to live forever, but uh, I do not intend to get a heart transplant. I don't, of course, I don't need a heart transplant, no, you know, but I don't intend to get uh, any kind of transplants, maybe a penal transplant. So I'd get a larger penis. I'd go for that. Uh, where was I? I digressed. Um, so <clears throat> I don't intend to, I'm not going to get a uh, kidney transplant. Now that hadn't been offered. I mean, I way, you know, I'm just telling you. <clears throat> not only that, I do not intend to ever have uh, dialysis done. So when it comes to something like that, I'll just be in hospice care, I guess, uh, as long as I can at home, and then I'm not going to have my ex-wife or my grown son or my daughter, she lives in the apartment behind us, I'm not going to have them come in and ch be changing my diapers or whatever, so when it gets to that point, I'll go into hospice care someplace. How do we get on this subject? Anyway, I need to end this. I'm going to have to keep this. I've been having some trouble with my small refrigerator. Well, it's been making, it's not, I don't have it, it doesn't have an ice maker in it. Let's see, wait, you can see it here. Let's see, get, turn this. Now let me see what you can see. Yeah, I think I'm going to hook the other monitor up. There is the uh, refrigerator, little refrigerator. Um. Since I got it, when I first got it, it's been, and I've had it a while, it doesn't have an ice maker, which I didn't want. Or, you know, I mean, it doesn't have a little freezer section there, but it makes, but the ice ends up on like the second shelf or whatever. And, and I've adjusted it, trying to get the right adjustment. And now I think it's a little, I went a little too far because this is not as cold as it should be, so going to have to adjust it. Uh, I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to use, you remember, this is a test. You can just use, to make it easy, jimhoward.me when you're going to purchase something. Please try to uh, Please try to use that because it'd be pretty nice. I'm on a limited income. I'm on, I live, you know, social security and a small uh, pension from the hospital for 18 years or whatever. Um, and it'd be nice to have uh, some commission coming in from Amazon because, uh, by the way, it shows you here, the, it, some of you might be concerned, okay, jimhoward.me, what if he's got that set up to do something not good, you know, something nefarious, nefarious? I shouldn't try a word if I don't, nefar uh, something that uncool. Uh, so you might want to use, the, you know, amazon.com slash shop slash h and b b s but uh i own jim howard dot me and that's safe to use and i think it'd be easy for you to remember but maybe just do a bookmark or something on your desktop or on your if you have uh when you call the things across the top
bookmarks, I guess. Anyway, thank you very much for uh, watching.